this lecture we will focus only on the location line which is very important we will understand uh, importance of the location line so for that what i will do is i will just simply type wa from my keyboard and after that you will uh, activate we are going to get this uh, wall command okay and if you look here you will see that this is our location line and right now currently this one is set as wall center line so we have uh, these options available the most important one is a wall center line and then we have a finish face exterior finish face interior okay so first of all let's uh, talk about this wall center line so let me click on this one and after clicking on that let's say uh, you want a room of a 3 by 3 and that having an uh, internal face of 3 by 3 inches and uh, 3 by uh, th 3 meters by 3 meter okay and if you look here right now this one is wall center line so if you are going to draw a wall you can see that uh, that currently the wall is has been uh, you can only draw the wall from the center line you can see that it is showing the center line so for say for example let's say i'm going to simply enter a 3 and then i will hit enter i will take my mouse cursor the downside enter 3 hit enter I will take my mouse cursor here 3 enter then I will take my mouse cursor and I will join to this part. If you look here, currently you can see that uh, the uh, the dimension is three meters. But the problem here is that that this is from the wall center line. But you want a room inside face of three meters. Okay. So what I will do is I will just simply click on this one. I will move to this witness line here. You can see that right now it is showing us the result from this face. Again, I will click here and it will show you the result from this place. But if you measure this inside region, you can see that this one is only 2.71 meters. But you want a room of a 3 by 3 meters. So now let's take another example. Okay, as you have already seen that this is the problem that we have faced. So now what will happen if we just change this to wall location line to finish face interior. Okay. So if you click on this one what will happen is uh, now this time if you click on this one you can see that there is a dotted line inside. It means that this one this face is the interior face and if you want a room of 3 meter into 3 meter in that case you have to go with this one okay as you can see here. All you need is just to simply type enter and then 3 okay. You can see that this one is the interior face again you can just simply drag your mouse to this side okay also you can flip the side as you can see that this is the dotted line and this is the interior face you can press escape to flip the side obviously if we're going to do that uh, that will not good because we have to we have to do it from the dotted one and this is the dotted line as you can see again i will hit 3 and then enter again i will dra drag my mouse in the this side i will enter 3 enter and then i will join it to this part here as you can see and then I will press escape so if you click on any of this this time I, I have pressed escape and now I am clicking on this one you can see that it is showing a as the, again it is showing us the di uh, distance from the middle part of this uh, wall now if I click on this one I can just change it to center you can change this to the face and if you look here this time you can see clearly see that we have modeled a room of 3 by 3 meters which is this inside face so you know you now you know uh, how to use that thing now if you choose the other option which is let me press escape so as you can see here that right now this command is active so i'm going to press escape to get out of this command again i'm going to type wa from my keyboard let me cancel this okay so what I will do this time I will go with this finish face exterior. So basically the finish face interior is the face uh, after plaster. So now this time I will go with finish face exterior. Okay. So let me click on this one. And this time if you want to do that in that case you can see you have to just do the opposite of what you have done in the finish face exterior interior. So let me press escape uh, uh, space to uh, shift that on the other side and then I will simply hit 3 okay now you can see that now the wall uh, is something like this again I am going to press space again I will hit 3 
again you have to do this so basically this is the exterior face this outer one is the exterior face so let's simply click on that and you can see that this one is the exterior face now click you can click, and then you can press escape and now if you measure the same you will see that this one is having uh, this kind of distance okay so in that way you have to use whether you want to go with this interior face whether you go, go on to with this center line or you want to go with this exterior face okay so generally we use this one or this one now let's suppose uh, if I click on this one you will see that it is showing us the distance from the faces but if you uh, draw a new uh, wall okay let's uh, let me enter wa if you try to model new wall just like this one you can see in that case what will happen let me show you in that case what will have happen it will show you the dimension from this center to center but if you want to change the, uh, that if you want to always want to look what exactly is the inside dimension in that case you have to go to manage and here you will get these additional setting you have to click on this one and you will get this annotate and you will after that you will get this temporary dimension so you have to click on this and after that you can see that right now the temporary dimension is measured from the uh, wall center line so you have to change it to faces and then you have to click on ok now if you click on this one you will see that it is showing us the faces from the centers from the uh, from the face of the wall you can see so you know that's totally depend to, uh, depend on you whether you want to go with wall center line or you go with the faces of the wall now let's say that you want to create more than one room so in that case what you can do is first of all let me press escape now again I will enter WA and I will change this location line to interior for an example because we will use this most of the time and I will simply draw a room like this okay and now let's let me press escape and let's say you want to draw a room from this like this so what you have to do if, if you have chosen that uh, finished face interior in that case if you are going to pick this end point in that in that case you, you are going to draw the wrong wall so what you have to do is you have to just locate it to this end point as you can see here that this end point here you can see that this is the end point and you have to start drawing from this let me click on this so this is the end point that exactly I want to show you and you have to click from here and then start drawing your room just like this one again you can click on this and you can see that again it has chosen that end point you can see here now you can just simply go and match it like this again you can just press escape again you have to make sure that you are clicking from this side this end point you can click on this one and uh, let let's simply click here and then you can just simply click here okay then you can press escape and you can see something like this so in this way you have to model more than one room